This podcast absolutely, unequivocally, positively, 100% contains adult material. Mature audiences only, please. Hey, welcome back to me and Miss is always right. Today we are here at that little trailer park in, where are we at, Denver? Denver. Well, we're outside of Denver, but I'm your host, me. <gasps> ah. Bloomberg, I think, Bloomberg. Is, actually, is, is actually where Thanks. we're at. And you are? Uh, I'm Mrs. Always Right. Did you say who you are? I did say. I'm like, uh, I'm me. Apparently I'm Westminster. Not. We're at the True Crime and Paranormal Podcast. True, did I say that right yes. this time? Yes. Yeah. True Crime Paranormal so, Podcast Festival. Festival, right? Yeah. So uh, we'll be here. Forget that. We try to bring you interviews and booths and uh, my man crush is here. Yes, you've already yeah, seen him. We've already talked to him about the big question that we had for him. Well, so, what did he say? What did he say to you? Uh, he said that he would actually have to go back and look and see because he didn't think it was ever brought up. Huh. You might. I might have solved a case. Solved a case. So <laughs> stick with us and uh, hopefully we'll bring you some great interviews with some other podcasters. You know, I got a couple sitting right next to me here, right? So, all right. Check you out later. Bye. Bye. Don't say bye because this is like not the end. Okay. See ya. All right, here we are, back straight from Denver. Straight <laughs> from Denver. Straight from Denver. Straight from Denver. And coming up, we have a great list of interviews coming up. These are very short, um, to the point interviews with some great people. Um, I have a favorite on here. Of course you do. Of course of I course do. Of course you do. Absolutely. And uh, You do. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. I might have been a little, let's just say they don't call Denver the mile high city for no reason, okay? <laughs> right, right. I might have been a little fucked up. It might have found a gummy or two. Or two. That uh, apparently is a lot stronger than you hypothetically get anywhere speaking, else, right? Hypothetically speaking. Uh-huh. You know? So. Now, okay, so it's legal in Colorado, it is legal in Colorado. It's it, uh, it's legal in Oklahoma. It is. Oh, okay. And New, New Mexico. Mexico. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Just not the state we live in. Right. Right. But uh, apparently, I guess it's what you may have been around th this weekend was better than any that you've tried from the others. It was up there. It was up there. It was up you there. You were up there, that's for sure. And I was up there. <laughs> so um, we're going to get started. This may or may not turn into a two-part episode. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So with that with that being said, let me, let me tell you about my first interview. I have listened to Defense Diaries for a long time. June's the one who got me onto this. And this guy tells a story. Bob Mata, his wife Allison's with him too. Bob tells a story like you've never heard. And you actually... If you listen to us, episode 187 was kind of about him. <laughs> don't listen. And we told him, and I still don't know if he's going to listen, but that's fine. It's fine. It's he, fine. He, he's, he he's knows. A, he's a busy guy. He is but, very busy. But he's got a great voice, and he can tell a story. With that being said, let me lead you into our interview with Bob Mata. Hey, I'm here with Bob Mata, and he is the host of Defense Diaries and The Docket, if I'm not mistaken, right? Correct. Correct. And um, you may or may not know, but this is like my podcast man crush here. Oh. Yeah. You're making me blush. Am I? Yes, yeah. you are. So yeah. um, tell us about The Docket and how I got started real quick, if you don't, or not The Docket, the, uh, Defense Diaries. So Defense Diaries, I had been a practicing attorney for 20 plus years. I was getting a little burnt. Like the criminal defense side of it is a tough racket. Uh, takes a lot out of you. You know, if I you bet. care about what you're doing, it's uh, it's a really, really tough gig. So, you know, going into like 20 year breaking that barrier, you know, I was starting to feel more and more like, man, like, I don't know if I'm going to be doing my clients any favors if I continue to practice. So I have been contemplating doing a podcast because like many of us, I had run into serial back in yeah. the day that was the first thing that i had ever listened to podcast wise i fell in love with it i fell in love with just the the storytelling aspect of it and that we could dive deeper into things than any other type of medium 
and you can incorporate like interviews with yes. people. It was just, it yes. was different than a book and it was different than documentaries because docs, you have those time limitations, yeah. books, you're not hearing from the people. It's just, I just love the medium. So, but I sat on it forever. And my backstory is my father was John Wayne Gacy's trial attorney back in 1980. And he had given me all his taped interviews with his client that he had made in preparation for his insanity defense trial. And they're fascinating. And I didn't know what to do with them. Oh, wow. For ever. And then when I decided to do the podcast, I, uh, I knew I was going to incorporate them into the podcast. But I wanted to focus not on Gacy as much because we've all right. heard that story. I wanted to focus on the victims that I knew nothing about. And I knew everything about that case. Except I knew little to nothing about the victims. So we really tried to focus on the victims. Uh, and I was fascinated by how they got them in 10 days. Oh, that's cool. So I wanted to focus on the investigation and then obviously the arrest and the trial. So that was how we got into it. So I, yeah. I went to my wife, who's the real hero of the story, Allie, who- I agree. Who, who does was, not want to be on right, video. For whatever reason. That's uh, a original honey badger. She is the original yes, honey badger. She yes, is, she is. She is. But she's the hero of the story. She's my law partner. And I went to her and I said, I want to I want to start a pod, but I got to go all in. I can't like do it half ass because otherwise it'll fail. Because we're in a crowded market. It's a crowded market. You guys yep. know how much work goes into this. So she, of course, had my back. And uh, three years later, you know, it's been... It's been an amazing journey. It's been a lot of fun. For for me personally, crime wasn't my genre. It, it's hers. And she actually, we were on a road trip and she got me listening to you. And the first things that ever stood out to me was you have a great narration voice. Thank you. You know, and I was getting into it, man. But you busted out with one word and one phrase and you were like, shit. And you hooked me ever since then. And I'm like, you know. <laughs> This dude is cool as hell. So, you know. I appreciate it. Yeah, that, we finished man. the Gacy tapes, right? And then we got on to We don't get much time for the docket because we're more like in a progressive story. Right, right. right. So now we're into Anthony Garcia. And, and she had asked you earlier, right? You know, uh, she had questions. And I know you're not done with the series. No. But that's a great series if you come out, right? Uh, to listen to. It's a great series, great voice. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank so you. I appreciate you taking time for us. Right? Man, I know you're busy. I, I appreciate here. you wanting to interview me, man. Oh, man. You know, it's like, Dude, it's been like a dream of mine. Oh, right? please. Please. Because you and Allison, I look to, you know, as a small podcaster, I look to you and Allison, and and y'all do a fantastic job. And, and her and I, you know, ours isn't so story focused or anything like that. It's just a bullshitting podcast, you know, about marriage. And I'm always telling you every time I see I you do. quit demeaning your podcast. It sucks, man. but it's okay. It doesn't suck. It dude. only it only doesn't suck because she's beautiful. So Oh, well you're <laughs> you're a good man. And this I'm putting on the record. I always take care of my friends. Okay. Always. Okay. So if you guys ever want to jump on a YouTube live, talk about your show, I think her and I would ever love want to do that. I mean, but I gotta... do want you to listen first, so you know, so you know who you're inviting. Right? <laughs> you might be representing me one day, and I don't, you know. Hey, hey, <laughs> listen. My uh, the advice that I always give people is. Uh, do everything that you can to avoid calling yes, us yes. in a professional in a professional setting. You know what I mean? But Bob, her mother, if she trips and falls in the shower and dies, her mother thinks I murdered her. I'm going to need a lawyer You're from going the down. get-go. You're yeah. going down. Yeah, we so, got you. So, hey, <laughs> I appreciate your time. Thank My you pleasure, very much. Man. Absolutely. Hey, listen to uh, Bob Model wherever you get your uh, podcasts and enjoy uh, Defense Diaries. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. All right, so... There what you know. what did what did you think? What did I think? That, I, that thought, was I thought actually, it was good anyway. Did you? Cause I I did. That's like when, my first real interview yeah. of anybody, right? Outside of of the the next one I have coming up, which I don't feel is you know right an, right. An these, gir these girls are just you know. Oh, hang on, time out. Ah, trademark. What? So. How do you think I did? Right. Okay. Number I one. I think you did very well. You did my hair. And I you did, did a fantastic hair. job. I am getting much, much more gray hair than. Um, well, you know why? Because I'm getting older. I'm exactly. getting fatter. <laughs> well, you're getting older. I don't think it has anything to do with your weight, how much well, gray hair you have. It's possible, is all <laughs> I'm saying. With the fatness comes the grayness. Yeah. I don't think that's true. I think just getting older kind of. Has something to do with it. That's what I think. 
But that's but that's I don't know. Bob Mata. Yes. His wife, Allison Mata, they they run Defense Diaries and the Docket. I am going to link all the links to these podcasts and everything down in the um in the comment section or in, not in the comment section in the description of the video. So you'll be able to find them all there. This this was great. Now we have another interview coming up with a couple of chicks that I know personally. You do know the well, I mean, you know Bob personally ish. I don't have sex with Bob. No, no, well, that's true. <laughs> no, that's true. I have sex with one of these co-hosts. Okay, <laughs> you have you yes yes yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Are you blushing a little no, bit? No, 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 not, no. not okay. blushing. No. But so the next podcast we have coming up is from two chicks from Texas. Mm -hmm. They they enjoy coffee. They yeah. enjoy crime. Oh yeah. Yes, and and yes, I am. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Partial. 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 I am partial to this podcast. Well, you, you know? have to be because you have to live with one of these. Well, people. I have to be, or <laughs> the, the host doesn't put out. That's what I'm saying. You that's, have to live right. with one of these people, so you have to, you know, be partial. So, without further ado, I will bring you June and Suzanne with Crime with My Coffee. We're Crime With My Coffee. I'm Suzanne. I'm June. We're a mother and daughter, and we're awesome, and you should listen to us because we like coffee, we're addicted to it, and we talk shit about the bad guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We absolutely do. <laughs> How long's your podcast been out? Uh, it's been out for about four years now. Right. And and we try to keep our episodes fairly short -ish. About 45 minutes, your average right to work. So, so sometimes had, it goes a little longer. If you had one case that people should go and listen to, what case would that be? Iron Mike Malloy and the Murder Trust. I mean, I don't know. We've done so many. We have done I, so many. But you should Iron Mike listen Malloy's to all favorite. of them. All of them. All, all of them. them. All of them. Some are better than others. You know, uh, when we first started, it was... A lot of trial and error just trying to figure out. Yeah, we were making it up as we go along. We're still doing that. We're still doing that. But I feel we're better. All right. Anything else? Where can we find your podcast? Oh, you can find us anywhere you listen to podcasts at. We have a website that is temporarily down because I am not technologically savvy, but it'll be up within the next couple of days at crimewithmycoffee.com. Or crimewithmycoffee.net. Crime with crimewithmycoffee.net. Uh, we do have a Patreon at patreon.com slash crimewithmycoffee. There's all sorts of different levels. You get exclusive episodes, um, bonus content, and depending on your level, a t-shirt or a hoodie or a long sleeve shirt. And that hoodie is super nice. It is, and it's super warm. I love it. Yes. All right. Well, thanks for interviewing. No, thank okay, you. Thank you. So that was June and Suzanne with Crime of My Coffee. One of those hosts may or may not look familiar to you. Very familiar. So do you enjoy <laughs> do you enjoy doing your crime the the crime podcast you do? I I do really enjoy it. Uh sometimes it becomes very hectic because sometimes there's a lot of uh, research in that you have to do movies you have to watch or a book you have to read or maybe you don't have to read it but you know, you want to, so you get uh, another take, or you get a different angle, or you learn something that you didn't know before. So, you know, sometimes it can be, ugh. but I, 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 I do it. enjoy it because I do like, I do like you crime. You do like I, crime. I, I believe, I would say at least half of the adult population or more really are intrigued with true crime. I, I, I really think that it's a big number that people are very intrigued with to, true crime. It's well, just half, nature. There's there's two genres nature. that do very well in podcasting. Yes. Those two genres are politics yep. and true crime. Exactly. And those and two, we don't do either one of We don't do either them. one of those. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and, and a little bit of this, and, and you guys, if you're watching, man, your, your podcasts are great. What I'm hoping for is maybe a little shout out to some of your people. Now, we're not for everybody, and we know that. Right, right. We yes. are we are adult oriented. I don't give a fuck what I say and when I say it. So eventually, I might piss you off. 
I don't know. No, oh, I mean, I feel you're going to piss everybody off at least once. Yeah, how they react you. to it, how they react to it is something totally different. So. I've been, I've been, I've been called an asshole, but I've been no. referred to as the you, asshole. Your oh. kind of asshole. Oh, okay, all right. And someone told me you could be an asshole without mm-hmm. being an asshole. You can't be an asshole without being an asshole. You don't think so? No, no. not at all. No. Not at all. So the next interview we got coming up is with True Crime and Wine Time. I guess the thing I like about these two podcasters is Uh they like to drink while they're doing their podcast. Oh, so it might get a little slurry. I I would hope so. (laughs) We're definitely going to have to check them out. You know, it's funny. Uh, and I'm not saying anything about them. I'm just saying about the whole true crime genre, really. A lot of these people do it with alcohol is involved in their podcast. Well, and I understand why. That's what I was going to say. I understand why. Because ugh, you almost have to have alcohol to do this. I'm just saying. Do you really? I mean... Yeah. So I, I I think a lot of this too is this is to find a way to stand out in an already crowded genre. Mm-hmm. You know, when people when people go, let, let's say I'm like, oh, you know, I want to start listening to a true crime podcast, and you go to Spotify or Apple or iHeartRadio, and you you type in true crime, well, it's going to lead you with the people who have the most views or the most downloads. Right. You know, I'm looking for the. I want to get in touch with the smaller creators because you and I know exactly what that is like to yes. be a small creator. Yes. And and to have a spot where you know that we don't fit in or we get overlooked mm-hmm. for reasons that, that we shouldn't get overlooked. Right. I do think we put on a good show. I you and I are agree. funny. You know, I, yeah, you're well, obviously you're funny. You're better looking. I mean, that's possible, but you're funnier. That's possible. So <laughs> with that being said, I'm allegiant to our interview with... True Crime and Wine Time. Hello, everybody. I'm JT. And I am Terry True Crime. And we are from True Crime and Wine Time. We pick different uh, genres um, every other week. We record live on our YouTube channel and then put it out as a podcast as well. And our YouTube channel also includes shows Monday through Friday, pretty much. Um, They're not all true crime based. Um, But in this case, we always pick themes and then we each present a case on theme. We do, and then we also do a special called, it's a special investigation into the disappearance of Chase Lackey. So we're actually investigating a missing person case. Chase Lackey went missing in Houston, Texas in 2017, and we've been working with the family for about a year and a half and investigating that as well, and it's on our podcast and our YouTube channel. Also on our YouTube channel, I do Midday Missing, Mondays and Wednesdays at noon central, and we cover missing person cases. So it looks like y'all indulge a little bit in the drinking part. Um, yes, Are we. Are drinking on stream? Oh yes. yes. Great. See, I do too. So okay. That's awesome. Yeah. No. Not we... on midday missing because oh. it's at lunchtime. Mimosas, right? Um, no, because I do have a day job too. <laughs> um, but I'm partaking now. Awesome. Um, and then we did our first live stream in Denver on Thursday where we partook in other things, oh. and we'll just say probably not our best episode. But everybody said we were very entertaining as it hit me in the room, started spinning. Yes, yes. You so, guys, huh? go, ahead, go ahead. No, you, you can find us on uh, YouTube, uh, really anywhere by searching True Crime and Wine Time. But you can find us on YouTube at True Crime and Wine Time. So, so do you guys have a favorite episode? Let's say I, I am a new listener. Mm-hmm. And which episode would you recommend that I jumped into? What is your favorite episode? I know my favorite episode. He doesn't know. So I will tell my favorite episode, and it was financial crimes, because I covered Tyson Chicken, and I had no clue about the crimes that happen in big business with food. That was my favorite. Oh, wow. Nobody died, yeah. but it was good. Hey, white crime, white collar crime's a crime. It, it, it sure was a bad is. crime. Sure is. I think a lot of the stuff that I really just enjoy, and it's not a specific case, but like throughout, you know, our podcast, we we stream in a combination of, you know, obviously the story in respect to the victims, but also comedy too, to kind of break it up. Um, Because we cover dark cases. I will tell anybody that watches ours, we don't get gory, don't get down to the nitty gritty, but we do cover some dark cases. Correct. Well, this should be interesting. So um, 
you guys have a Patreon where anybody can donate to or anything? Or We do, but when we started live streaming on YouTube, we are moving over to that platform. Okay. And we are just days away from monetizing and setting up there so people can follow us and donate there. Hey, thanks for giving me the time for an interview. Yes, I appreciate of course. It. Yeah, no problem. Day. Thank All right, you. you too. So look at you, Mr. Interviewer. So you, know you think what? they're going okay? You think they're going okay? Yeah, because you you know, I, I feel bad now. I feel like somebody needs to interview you and ask you. I, I will you know. hope. <laughs> and anybody who watches this podcast, you can reach out to us at me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com. We would be more than happy to come on your show, do a quick rundown of who we are, what we're about, you know. We don't do drugs, we don't drink, and we don't lie. <laughs> None of no, the above. Definitely don't drink. None of us None drink. None of the above. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that and and I think and I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I do think they're from Texas. I um maybe South Texas. The way they're talking about working with Houston. Right, right. You know, but it does say that that sounds like a very interesting podcast to me. I think I'm going to check that out. Yeah, the good thing is it's on YouTube and we're already on YouTube. We are you know? already on YouTube. So we can check them out right after we watch our episode. And then the only other thing I was going to bring up to you, and they bring up a good point, is I think you and I mm -hmm. could probably do a 10 or 15 minute show and we can start small where we start going live on YouTube and we react to... You know I work better with content and comments, and I don't give a shit. And, and you work better. Basically, I'm going to say, I, I feel you work better with a live audience anyway. I do. It feeds you. It does. It does. Because I don't give a fuck how bad the comments are. I'm here for you. Oh, and we got another interview coming up, probably in the next episode. And this this podcast took their absolute worst review oh, and turned it yes. into a sticker. And I thought that was the most clever thing. And I'll bring that up when we get to that interview. Y but you know, if if people would go listen to us on Apple, I think Apple is the only place that you can actually leave a review like that. Um, actually it is not and let me tell not? you let me tell you oh, what happened okay tell right? me and then after this we'll end the episode okay all right? and we'll we'll pick up with a part two but buzzsprouts now offered a uh feature called fan mail and in the description of the podcast you can click send me and mrs always write a message and we'll get it in text form oh. you can call us a twat I don't care. <laughs> but, Yo, you know. See you send, next Tuesday. Send, send us the fan mail. Use that link. I don't care how bad the comments are. What or you have good. to say. Or, I mean, we, we, we would take I a. I doubt we ever get a good comment. Yeah, we, I feel we would get a good comment, too. You're beautiful. You have an awesome voice. Mm -hmm. I fucking suck. Okay. Whatever. But bringing back that up, I do think we could start with, you know, maybe your 10 or 15 minute episode where we go live, mm. you know, once a week or so and see how it goes and just see how it goes. But with that being said, we're going to end this uh, episode here. Thanks for listening. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, please email us at me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com. All complaints go to Trevor the Intern. And hopefully, I don't think he's going to get many complaints on this. You've you've done an excellent job. I've tried to portray people and their podcast and 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 the creators and oh yeah, I, I try to treat them with as much respect as for what they do as as I would want to be treated. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. So. But you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram. YouTube and X. And you will get better at social media posting. I, I'm sure you gonna will. try. Yes. And we'd like I, to thank Roadcat Media for producing this week's episode. Roadcat Media was at the True Crime and Paranormal Podcast. If you have any audio, video editing needs, reach out to them at roadcatmedia at gmail.com. And as always, we're on the hunt for Merle. Yes. I love Merle. All right. I love you, baby. I love you too, honey. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was the deepest bye I think you've done. I know. Merle. I love Merle. <laughs>